Hey there, so today we have another review. This is a beer from Rogue. It's first time a review. Actually, well, I did do uh, their brown ale recently, but uh, first time I actually found their beer fresh. This is, wow, very fresh. Um, since I picked it up, probably like three weeks fresh. Yeah, or less than three weeks fresh. So this is Colossal Claude. This is an Imperial IPA. Uh, rocks in at um, 8.2, 9.4 SRM. So I think this will be hazy. 9.4 would put it not that light. So is it hazy? No, it's not hazy. No, never mind. Sorry, I looked up the beer. I thought it was gonna be hazy. And I would guess that's, geez, I forgot all my SRMs. That seems lighter than nine SRM, right? Yeah, nine four SRM. Eh, beer's like a medium gold color. Okay, anyway, I'm just geeking out, trying to remember my numbers, and I just realized that I probably have not studied those in like three weeks, and I'm losing them. So I need to get them back, because for the tasting portion, you will have to know that. So, not as much, but still. Um, comes in a medium gold color, wonderful fluffy white head, nice clarity to that guy. It's got all the fun hops in here. Um, sorry, they even listed, thankfully. Uh, Cascade Chinook Citrus Strata. And I think there's other stuff in here too, but that's what they list on the can. I also like that triangle they have. So on the triangle, uh, malt, tropical, bitter, pine, citrus, and it sure sort of shows you where it pushes on, you know? Because if it was like malt and bitter, it'd be more west coast, tropical, more hazy, you know, whatever, you guys get the point. So this is dominated by citrus, some pine, tropical, low malt, moderate bitterness. On the nose, it feels decent. Um, Get a little bit of the alcohol, I get a little bit of that kind of like a sweet pineapple character. A little bit of like ripe grapefruit. Biscuity malt. Not too explosive on the nose. Smells like a double IP of sorts. Tastes very, I mean, maybe it smells like a double IP. Tastes more like a single IP. Wow. This guy's super sneaky. This guy comes in eight two. This guy drinks like six five seven seven five. Yeah, almost like six five seven percent. Yeah, wow. Um, how do I describe this beer? Um, it's modern take on um, West Coast slash Pacific Northwest IPA. Uh, it leans heavy on the fruitier hops, so you're following the nose with. Tropical, pineapple, grapefruit. There's a little bit of this kind of like a strange kind of like, how do I describe it? It's not an off flavor, but it's a little bit chemically. So sometimes it describe things as dank, diesel, gas, marijuana. Here it's like, I mean, it's not an off flavor. I don't think it's a phenolic, possibly, but it almost has the Belgian finale kind of thing. It has this kind of like lingering kind of like almost, not all the way towards plastic and nail polish remover, but it's got a little bit of a plasticky thing going on. Somewhere in the middle, it does a little bit of that. Um, and it could be not even that, it could be water treatment. Uh, I think what high bicarbonate puts you at a little bit soapy. So it's got a little bit soapy dopey thing going on. Uh, when you ever get that in your IPAs, it should be um, water treatment that sort of gets that accentuates it, it pushes hops into a flavor that uh, accentuates like the soapy floral kind of thing instead of like accentuating I assume what generally people want would be like floral pine citrus tropical blah blah so um, so there's the floral soapy thing going on here uh, the beer is wonderfully dry which is quite nice um, not too much malt to speak of you know I smelled a little bit on the nose but it's got a light a light biscuity malt character mostly just a full you know, whole wheat to light toasted, I don't know, not even toasted, just like readiness, whole wheat kind of thing, like just non-toasted whole wheat. And then, um, not like saturated hoppiness, but it's a nice grapefruit note. Uh, bitterness is medium minus at best, barely any bitterness here. It's really quite nice. Super drinkable, A2. Um, I mean, I wouldn't go crazy for it. It's like, I, I wish I had more punchiness, a little bit more character, and a little bit more personality, if it makes any sense, but, um, well executed and really drinkable double IPA. Oof, you get in trouble with this guy. So um, good utility and man, if they put this guy in stovepipe cans, you'd be in big troubles because some of those beers are like, you can sort of tell they're at 10%, you know, like uh, the Voodoo Ranger is quite drinkable, but that other beer that I reviewed, the Tropical Bear Hug 
from uh, Mikusao and was like undrinkably like 10%. Uh, this is sneaky 8-2. <laughs> like I, you can drink way more of this than the Tropical Beer Hug guy. So um, I think that's the utility here. Buy six pack, have two, have three, feel it. <laughs> uh, this beer for me gets a solid 87, 87. That is Rogue Colossal Quad. Uh, quad. Um, nothing super crazy, but just like very, very good execution. Until next time, guys, cheers later.